Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Advanced Blueprint Tutorial Series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to loops inside of Unreal Engine Blueprints. Now a loop is a very common piece of code which you are going to use in your game to repeat a process over and over again as opposed to sort of rewriting your code. Now there is a variety of different loops such as for loops, while loops, and we're going to be breaking these down one by one and making them really nice and easy to understand. So we're going to put a focus on the for loop in today's video. So open up your level blueprint and just create a for loop. And you can do this by right clicking and just typing in for loop and under flow control just use for loop. Now what this is going to do is the for loop is essentially going to repeat a process of code or a sequence of code a certain amount of times. And that number of times is going to be defined by the index. And essentially, with this for loop, you've got two values, the first index and the last index. If we set the first index to 1 and the last index to 15, what this is going to do is it's essentially going to run that sequence of code 15 times. The index is essentially a integer value and each time that it runs this code it's going to add 1 to that index value and once that index gets equal to the last index which is 15 it's going to stop. So whatever I put in here now with the first index being 1 and 15 being the last it is going to repeat that process 15 times. So if I go ahead and put a print string into this index and just hook up the index to the value for that string so we can see exactly where we are, you are going to notice on our screen it's going to print this 15 times. Now I'm going to set the, uh, the duration for that print string to 15 seconds just so we can see this nice and easily. But if I compile this press play, you're going to see it's going from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and all the way up to 15, and it's running that code 15 times. Now, something like this you might want to use if you're trying to spawn enemies, or any kind of gameplay mechanic where you are going to be trying to, or, you know, running the same code over and over and over again. A set number of times. Now what you can do with this for loop is instead of using a value here you can actually hook up your own integer value. So we've got test integer at the moment if we drag this in and get a reference to it and hook it up to our first index that is going to be the starting point. Now test integer at the moment for me I've got that equal to 12. So if I set test integer to 12 and last integer or last index rather to 15 it's only going to run it three times or it should do anyway so press play and you can see it's running a couple of times so it starts on 12 so it's actually running it four times so 12 13 14 and 15 so it's going to run it until it gets to 15 and you can see you can start to use your own variables for this so let's say you have got a, um, a wave based system where you want to spawn um, you know, enemies in waves and you want to spawn different numbers of enemies depending on the wave, you could hook up your wave number into here for example and do that. Um, there is plenty of stuff that you can do with this and it is all just a matter of experimentation. Now your loop body in here is not limited to just a print string. If you wanted to, like I said, you could create a widget, you could spawn uh, a sound, you can do whatever you want, it is entirely up to you, um, but you can put whatever you want in here. For example, if I wanted to, I could set my test float in here to a different value, so I could add one to this each time if I wanted to. So what I could do is set test float, and we could do float plus float hook up test float into the first value and add one to it each time and then if we print that to a string we can see it's making that change as it goes through those index so hook up the return value 
before that floats into the string. And I'm also going to change the color so it's a nice bright orange so I know it's the float value. By default, the test float is set to 2, so what we should see right about now is it should go up by 4. So it should be 12, 13, 14, and 15, so 4 iterations on that index. So compile this, press play, and you can see my float is now also going up as well. So there is lots of stuff you can do with a for loop. Just go ahead and experiment with it, and if you don't quite get it straight away, feel free to just watch this video over again until it does sort of um, come to life inside of your head. But anyway, that's pretty much everything for this video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.